Hello and welcome to Market Sharp. My name is Corey. I work with the Client Success Department here in the office, and today we will be covering the Accelerate package. By now, you and your company should have already received your login credentials and gotten a good look at what your database can do from a data entry standpoint. Now, it's going to take some practice, as everything does, but you should have a solid grasp on how your system operates after your onboarding training with Romy. So, to jump the learning curve, you decided to get started with our Accelerate package. And the Accelerate package is exactly that. You are accelerating your database by having it already pre-set up to an extent where your day-to-day -day functions are not delayed by that learning curve. Now, even though a lot of things are already in place, you're still going to want to learn how to operate around the database and understand how things are managed uh, because eventually you're going to want to edit some things and customize them to your company's verbiage, um, adjust some marketing methods to what works for you guys. Uh, every company is different, so that's why the system comes together already kind of pre-set up as a generic starting point to you to build off of. Now, with the Accelerate package, you have the auto emailing function within your database that we'll get into. Uh, we also have an auto texting feature that we offer that you may or may not already have. If you have the ultimate package, then you will automatically have this on your account already included. Um, if not, you can always add this on as an extra feature if you wish. Either way, they're both set up almost identical and work hand in hand with one another, and we'll get into both in this training. That being said, let's get started with the tutorial. Let's go ahead and get logged in here. This is my demo database here that I'm logging into uh, under my username, super user. First things first, here's your dashboard as always. Now, I don't want to get super repetitive to go over things that Romy has already mentioned in your onboarding. So if you ever need a recap on those initial trainings, they are also recorded and available for you and your staff. And if you haven't had your first initial onboarding meeting with Romy yet, I highly recommend you get that scheduled right away. Okay, moving forward, let's go ahead and hop into the admin section, which is located up here in the top right hand corner. This is the back end of the system. This is where all the cool functions and buttons are located. Uh, this is your headquarters. This is where you can set up integration, uh, add, and, add and edit employees, adjust the calendar settings, set up company information, lead captures, activity processes, QuickBooks, call center, the list goes on and on. But the main focus of this video is to cover the automations that are included in your Accelerate bundle. So let's do that. Now, if you haven't already, the first thing that we're going to need to do is enable these features. Um, so for the majority of you, we need to enable this email setup, which you can find in the admin section. Uh, you'll see this box here right in the middle of my screen. I'm going to go ahead and click on this Market Sharp email setup link. Upon doing so, you're going to get the back end of your email setup. Now, mine's already enabled, but this is what you need to do if you haven't already. Let's check this box right here. Doing so, it's going to pull open these box with your company information, uh, the city, the state, uh, address, website, email, all that good stuff, and that's how you know it's turned on. The last thing you need to do is click save. Now, the next step that we need to enable is our auto texting feature. Now, as I mentioned earlier, some of you may have this, some of you may not. If you do not have this, you can go ahead and skip to the next portion of this video. For those that do have it, pay close attention. It's very similar to the email setup, except it's in the text message setup, which has its own box. You'll see here that there's also a link that says Marcus Sharp text message setup. You're going to want to go ahead and click on that. First thing it's going to have you do is create an account name. Uh, typically, this is just the company name. As you see here, as I have my XYZ remodeling. Uh, once you have your account name set up, go ahead and click OK. Next page, it's going to go over our Marcus Sharp SMS policy which basically tells you that this is not for spamming marketing messages, primarily used for communication level with your clients, um, appointment reminders, things of that nature. So upon reading that and clicking OK, we'll bring you to this screen. Right here, you have your status bar for the month. It'll show how far you've gone through your 1,000 text messages per month. Uh, be aware of this. It's not going to cut you off cold turkey at a thousand. Um, if you go over, it will just be five cents per um, over text message. So that's your status bar. Now we're going to have to get a phone number attached to this account. Um, I already have one attached, but you're going to want to go ahead and click on this plus sign right here. After doing so, you're going to want to search for your city's area code or where you're operating out of. Um, so for example, let's try 815. Click on Find Numbers, and it's going to auto-generate a list of numbers available to you. 
Um, the best way to explain this, these are kind of, you know, they're not real numbers, they're robot numbers. This is just the number that your client's going to receive their message from. You know, they can't call it. If they do text you back, it will come back to you as an email. So once you've figured out which number your company wishes to choose from, go ahead and click the blue add button to the right of it. After doing so, this will now be your designated phone number. This number will be the number that your clients see on their cell phone when you do send them an automated text message. And as I just mentioned before, if they do respond to a text message, it comes back via email. This box here allows you to check the employees that you wish to receive that email. So say if you want um, the owner, um, the sales manager, maybe all your salespeople, just go ahead and select the boxes of the employees that you wish to receive that email. Then click update forwarding. Now that we have your auto email and auto texting features enabled, we can head back to the admin section. So the four things that are set up for you in the Accelerate package are your activity processes, your email templates, automations, and a custom lead capture. Now, let me show you where you can find these. Activity processes are found in the process setup admin box, which is right here by clicking on activity processes. Our Marcus Sharp email templates can be found right here under the email setup admin box. Our automations are found in the automation rules tab, which is right here. And we'll primarily dive into the appointment rules during this training. And your custom lead captures are found right here in the biggest box in the admin section under lead capture setup. It's the very top link. And we're going to get into all four of those right now. So first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at our Market Sharp email templates, which is right here in this email setup box by clicking this link. It's going to pull up about 50 pre-built templates for you to use at your disposal. Um, covers pretty much every scenario that you may come across from customer post appointment, sell thank yous, online lead web inquiries, newsletters, production, you name it. They're all here and they're all customizable as well. And what I mean by customizable is that whenever you see a blue pencil off to the left of these emails, go ahead and click on that, and it's going to open up a preview of that template. Not only can you preview it, you can edit it. You can change the font, you can change the colors, you can change the images. Maybe you don't like this flower pot, you can go ahead and get rid of that. Maybe you don't like this whole paragraph, you can also just erase this. Now, once you've gone through and completed the entire body of the email that you wish to move forward with, um, go ahead and change the subject of the email if you wish, the name of it, make sure it's perfect. And the reason I'm showing you how to do this is because we've already hand selected emails um, for you to use that are already in place with the Accelerate package. Um, so now if you don't like those email templates, you can always come in here and hand select your own, edit them to your liking, and then reassign them to a specific appointment result. So what I mean by hand selected is that all of these emails that you see here, we have selected and attached them to an activity process. So these are the templates that will be going out to your leads and customers. And it's always a good thing to have you guys aware that you guys can customize these, add in your own verbiage, throw in your own little secret sauce, like I mentioned earlier, um, and everyone works differently. So that's why we give you the option to customize these. Um, so always keep that in mind um, that you can create um, one to your liking. You can also create one blank from scratch by clicking this add template button. It's going to pull open a blank template. Maybe you guys already have some pre-built ones already in use that you can copy and paste in here and attach to an activity process. Um, so you guys also have that option as well. So hopefully that gives you guys a good rundown of how the email templates are worked and customized. And here in a second, we'll hop into how they are put into play and how these are actually being automated to your leads and customers and in which specific scenario they are being enabled. Now that we've covered our Marcus Sharp email setup and our Marcus Sharp email templates, let's next head into our activity processes, which like I mentioned before is found right here in the process setup box. Let's go ahead and click this link. And you'll see here that you have seven pre-built activity processes already for you within the Accelerate package. Um, from getting estimates follow-ups, no demo, no interest, uh, web lead follow-ups, all this is covering specific scenarios that you will encounter. Now, each one of these activity processes already has a list of activities within them that's set to trigger off based on the scenario. 
So each and every one of these is already pre-built within your Accelerate bundle. So these are going to look identical to your database as is. So let's go ahead and take a look at this pre-appointment marketing process one. This is a really good one for setting up appointments, um, getting that off the bat communication level with your lead. So let's go ahead and click this blue pencil to open this up. You'll see here that we have three activities tied to this activity process. The first one is an email out, an automated email out. I'm um, going immediately when added. Um, so right when you schedule that appointment, we have this email template triggered to go out to that lead, which here we have this appointment confirmation email selected. Next, we have a call out uh, reminder to your salesperson. So we have this set one day before that appointment scheduled. So within their dashboard, upon that salesperson logging in, they're going to see a reminder at the top of their screen saying, hey, you're supposed to call this person. Uh, you have a meeting with them tomorrow. Um, just a friendly reminder there. Um, our third one here is another automated email going out at the same time as that call scheduled one day before that appointment is set to hit. As the first one, we also have an email template selected here. This is our lead pre-appointment pre-approach with profile template. Um, so that's going out to them as well one day before that appointment is set to go, um, confirming that appointment with your lead. So let's go ahead and take a look at another one we have here. We have this web lead follow-up activity process. This is for those internet leads that are coming in um, from online straight to your market sharp database. We have this activity process built out automatically for them to be reached out with an email. So let's open that up. Like I mentioned, we have the automated email in place here immediately when added. We have the email template lead web inquiry going out. This is saying, hey, thanks for checking us out online. Um, a representative will be with you shortly. And again, you already know this. You guys can change the email template to your liking. Uh, maybe you have a customized one in here. Maybe you change this one. Uh, but this is how you would reselect an email template. We have this one already pre-selected for you. Just like the last activity process that we looked at, we also have a call scheduled for you guys. Um, so what this is going to do is send another reminder to an employee saying to give this person a call, this new lead that came through the internet. Um, so that's what we have in place there. Um, and again, you guys can um, edit these. You guys can create a brand new one from scratch. Um, you guys can add process steps to this. Um, for those of you that have text messaging, it's always a great idea as well to kind of throw in a text message to these because these are only built with emails at the moment. Um, but let's say, for example, we wanted to throw in a text message to that pre-appointment marketing process. Let's just go ahead and open that one back up. So we already have this generic uh, email going out immediately, call and email going out one day before the appointment. Let's say you wanted to throw in that auto texting feature that you might have. So let's go ahead and click on add process step. The type, we're gonna select text out. Reference, we're confirming an appointment. Assign to, this isn't too necessary with the texting, uh, mainly because it's coming from that phone number if you remember us setting that up earlier. Um, so let's just select current user for now. Now, when do you want this text to be going out? Let's say we also want him to get um, a text message immediately when added. So he's already getting an email or immediately when added. Let's, wanna, let's go ahead and send him a text message too. So let's go ahead and drop this down. Select immediately when added. And once you've selected a due time and date, you will be able to select a texting template. Um, if you don't have the auto texting feature, it'll look like mine does right here. Um, but if you do have the auto texting, you'll be able to select a texting template. We do have one built out for pre-appointments, um, you know, saying same thing as before. Hey, we have you down for this time and date. Uh, we look forward to seeing you. So if you guys do have the auto texting feature, you guys have the ability to add a process step to any of these activity processes here. So keep that in mind when you are building these and building templates that you also have that option. Um, so keep that in mind. So as I mentioned before, these are the seven activity processes that we have built in within your Accelerate package. Uh, go ahead and take a look at these, see what templates we have attached to them already. Um, again, if you have texting, go ahead and throw in some text messages if you will. And you can always create as many new processes as you'd like uh, regarding different scenarios by clicking this blue button here and then you can build it up as, as you wish. So heading back to the admin section, we are now moving on to our third setup um, within the Accelerate bundle um, with our automation rules. You're gonna find out where those activity processes are 
tied to um, regarding which appointment results um, that you have within your database. So to do this, let's go ahead into our automations tab, which is up here. Let's click on appointment rules. Here you'll see that based on our specific appointment results, we have a specific activity process attached to it. So let's say I result an appointment as pending. It's going to trigger that pre-appointment marketing process that we just looked at. Um, let's say I result an appointment as demo sold. I have this post sell thank you activity process ready to go and triggered upon that appointment result. Same thing as the rest of these. Demo maybe, um, no sell marketing process, activity process is attached. So what this is telling your system to do is whenever you result an appointment as any of these options here, it's going to trigger that activity process that we already have pre-built in your system. So with all that being said, with your email templates put together, your email templates attached to an activity process, your activity process is built up how you like them. Um, you guys can leave them where they're at. You know, the Accelerate Bundle is already pre-built for this exact reason. This is already set up for you, but I'm going to show you how and why it's triggered. So down the road, you guys can always come back in here and tweak things to your company's uh, verbiage, you know, how you guys want to do things differently. Um, but let's go ahead and show you uh, real time how this process works and why it's working the way it is. So we're going to go through how to add a new lead and go from a lead to an appointment to a customer and kind of show you how these activity processes and email templates are all set up and automated. So let's go ahead and click on this contacts tab up here. I'm going to go ahead and click on leads record view, which I already am in. Um, let's go ahead and click add new lead. So for this example, let's say I'm taking a phone call from a new lead and I'm just going to use myself as a test here. Um, so let's say I got a phone call from Corey Mason. I take his phone call, I get his first name, last name, address and phone number. Um, as Romy has mentioned, it's always a good habit to create checking for duplicates. Um, that way it'll eliminate that double entry. Um, I have a few in here, but none of them kind of add up. Um, so let's just go ahead and click create new. Again, this is probably very familiar to you guys at this point, so I don't need to go into too much detail. Um, but let's take a look at this. Um, if you guys do have the auto texting feature, always make it a common habit to ask them if it's a cell phone or home number. Um, if it is listed as a home number, it will not send an auto text message. It has to be labeled as a cell phone number. So keep that in mind when you're doing these and getting new lead sheets. Um, so. Um, that's always a good habit to create is to ask them, is that a cell phone or home number? Let's go ahead and get their email in here. I'm just going to throw mine in here. Okay, and I got that all together. First name, last name, address, cell phone, and email. Looks good to me. Let's go ahead and click Save and Add Inquiry. Inquiry taken by myself. Lead source primary, let's say he heard about us on the internet. Maybe he found our company website. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Let's see why he's calling. Maybe I'm calling about getting a new window put into my home. Select window, what kind of window. Let's go on a bay window. All right, let's go ahead and click save and add appointment. Now, this is where the automation is going to take place and how your system is going to be already set up with the Accelerate package. Appointment set by myself, um, date and time. Let's say it's the 22nd today. So let's go ahead and say I want it for the 30th at 9 a.m. We put that in there. Salesperson, let's say Wendy's taking the job. Appointment type, this is a sales call. Now here's where things start to tie together. You remember when I was mentioning appointment results and how to result an appointment is gonna trigger a specific activity process? Well, here's exactly that, appointment result. And because I'm just now scheduling this appointment, I'm gonna go ahead and result this as pending. You know, it hasn't happened yet. It's pending, it's scheduled for the future, hasn't happened yet. So I click pending and I click save. 
Upon doing so, because I resulted that appointment as pending, if you remember, I have that pre-appointment marketing process attached to that result. So I have that email going out. Um, this one's going to be coming from myself to myself, so it's going to be a little goofy. But okay, so I have that pre-appointment email template going to my lead. I have a call scheduled for the day before, and I also have another email going um, out the day before as well. So this is already triggered based on that result of pending. All you do now is click save, and those are automatically triggered. You can always double check your work and click on this activities tab right here. And you'll see here that I have those three activities scheduled to go out. This email is going out right now within three minutes. And then these are scheduled one day before that appointment is set to hit. So now let's skip ahead into the future. And let's say I'm Wendy, the salesperson. And I went ahead and gave my demonstration, had my presentation with this lead. And he said, maybe. No worries. So Wendy's going to come back in here, open up this appointment that we just had. Right here, we're going to change the result from pending by opening up this appointment by clicking edit. I'm going to change this result from pending to demo maybe because he said maybe. When I click save now, just like the pending result, I'm going to have an activity process that I already have attached to that appointment result, my no sell marketing process. So here I'll have a thank you for your time email going out. I have a rehash call scheduled, another rehash call scheduled a week later, um, and so on and so on. Appointment follow-up email already attached, another rehash call about a month later, and then I have a one-month follow-up email, three-month follow-up email, five-month, six-month, eight-month, 10-month, and 12-month. These are already tied and scheduled to go out with the Accelerate package with no work other than clicking the Save button. So just like the last process, let's go ahead and click on Save now. Let's go ahead and double check our work in the Activities tab. And you'll see here now we have a list of all our activities for that entire year follow-up. This one's scheduled for January 21. So now that you checked your work and you see that everything's in motion, we are good to go. Now let's go ahead and skip ahead to the future again. And let's say we're over here in June of 2020. And let's say our lead gets this five-month follow-up email. He reads it, gives you a call, and says, hey, you know what? I am ready to go ahead and move forward with this bay window. Let's go ahead and get this job done. Awesome. Fantastic. This automated rehashing uh, email worked out for you and resulted in a sale. So what Wendy's going to do is come back again to that appointment she had, reopen it by clicking edit. And you guessed it. We're going to change this appointment result from demo maybe to demo sold. So let's click on that, select demo sold. Gonna get this nice big green congrats here at the top, congratulating you on selling the job. And now here down at the bottom, I wanna point out that all those future activities that we have scheduled in that demo maybe follow-up process will be deleted, mainly because you'd look awfully silly if you're still trying to market your now new customer, saying, hey, are you still interested in this bay window? And he's thinking, ah, I already bought from you guys, um, so why am I still getting these emails? So yeah, those will be deleted. Um, and if yours does not show this, if you are following along with me, um, there is a simple button to turn that feature on, and I can show you here in a second. So if you haven't already, to go ahead and turn that feature on where it deletes all those future activities that are pending, even though you already sold them, let's go back to the admin section here in the automation rules tab. Let's go ahead and click activity rules and just simply check this box here. What that's doing is telling your system to go ahead and delete those future activities and we'll save you that um, extra step. So back to where we were after resulting this as demo sold, deleting out those future activities. Now there is one way you can stop that from happening is by checking this don't delete button. Um, you can do that if you want to. Um, I don't really see a scenario where you would, um, but you do have that option if you don't want those future activities deleted. So let's go ahead and click save and create job. 
And you guessed it, since we have that post sell thank you activity process tied to that result, we have this thank you email going out saying, hey, thank you for your business. We look forward to finishing this installation with you and this home improvement project that you chose to complete. So we're going to go ahead and click save here to complete that activity out. Now here is going to be your job sheet. I'm sure you've seen this a few times now, so I'm just going to go over this quickly. Let's just name this job Corey Windows. So the job status is waiting for a measurement still. Contract status is approved. And let's just go ahead and throw in a price here, $5,000. And click Save. Now you'll notice that this is now a green customer. Let's go ahead and double check our activities. You'll see here that all those future activities were deleted. And all you have left now is those ones that have already been sent, that pre-appointment email, that thank you for your time email. And now I have this scheduled to go out, um, that thank you for your business email. And there you pretty much have it. That is the rundown of the data entry steps. Um, I hope that gives you guys a good rundown of how the automation takes place and how that is triggered based on your resulting. Um, so moving forward, let's go ahead and continue with this Accelerate program tutorial. And now on to our last and almost final step to this tutorial is our custom lead captures. As I mentioned before, you guys do have a company website, Custom Lead Capture, already incorporated into your database here. So let's go ahead and click on this Custom Lead Capture link in my admin section. You'll see here that you'll have this company website, Contact Us, Lead Capture, already implemented into this field. Let's go ahead and open that up by clicking this little pencil here. You'll see here that we already have the name, the lead source primary from the internet, secondary, your company website. Um, if you guys do have a call center, you're going to want to queue this into your internet leads marketing queue. And again, we have an activity process attached to these new leads that are coming in from your company website with that web lead follow-up activity process. What this is doing is whenever a new lead comes in, they tap in their information on your guys' company website. It's going to push straight into your MarketShop database as a new lead in your contacts tab. And it's going to follow up with this activity process. And if you remember looking at it earlier, we have that email going out automatically right when added saying, hey, thank you for checking out us online. Um, a representative will be with you shortly. In the meantime, here's our website, here's our email, here's our phone number, all that good stuff, as well as a scheduled phone call to your salesman. It's gonna send them a reminder saying, hey, we got a new lead, make sure you guys reach out to them in a timely matter. Again, here's gonna be a list of your employees where you can notify via email. Um, so say if I want this employee to be notified when I do get a new lead, I'm just gonna go ahead and check their box next to their name and click save. Now there is one step that you're gonna to have to do manually and that is get this HTML code over to your website developer. So let's go ahead and click on this blue link here. It's gonna pull open a code that enables this to tie with your company website. So this is going to allow those leads to push right into market sharp as a new lead in your contacts tab. So your homework is to get this code copied and pasted over to your website developer and get this implemented into your company website. And again, that's going to allow those leads to push straight over into your database and click done. The last and final step that I wanted to cover within this accelerate package is our reporting. Um, so with the Accelerate package, you do get three custom-built reports already built for you. So let's go ahead and check those out by clicking this reporting tab at the top. You'll see here under your company reports, you have three already built out. This marketing, sales, and sales one. So this is my leads by source, my sales performance ratio monthly, and my sales report by product with their contracts. So let's say I want to take a look at one of these reports and actually run them. Let's go ahead and click on this top one, Leads by Source. You'll see here that I have all my checked boxes that I wish to see on my report. The only thing that you need to do now is select the date range. So let's say we want to run it for the month of January. Let's select January 1st and January 31st. And click this Schedule Report Immediately. 
and that report is now processing. You'll see this up here. And once that is complete, it'll show your status and it says processed. That one was really quickly. Um, depending on how big the report actually is and how many inquiries are included, it could take a little longer than that one did. Um, but now that this one is processed, let's go ahead and open this up by clicking this blue view button. And you'll see that it does exactly that. It ran that report. It shows me all my leads um, from where that source came from and how many inquiries there were and how many resulted in an actual appointment. So I have my internet, radio, TV, my website. All this is listed here based on that month that we selected from January 1st to January 31st. And that gives me all my data that I need. Let's go ahead and take a look at another one. For example, let's click this sales report by product with the contracts. Let's go ahead and run this report really quickly. Contract date, let's do the same date range, January 1st through the 31st. Run that report immediately. Wait for that to get done processing. And open it up once that is processed. And you'll see here that now I have my graph with all my sales with their contracts approved. And keep in mind that this is my demo database. And this is actually the job that we just completed with that contract approved. If you remember, we sold that window, that bay window for $5,000. So this will show that report based on product and contract. And that's what that looks like. And that about wraps up the accelerate package tutorial. Um, looking back, we went over our market sharp email templates. We went over our activity processes, our appointment rules, lead captures, and the three reports that come with your reporting tab. Thank you so much for your time, guys, and I hope I really got across the main points of this Accelerate package and get you guys off to a good start with a firm grasp on how this package can actually work for you. Um, and again, early on, you guys are probably going to have some questions. Um, feel free to give us a call down here at, at the bottom of every market chart page is our 1-800 number that gets a hold of to our technical support team, and they can walk you through any issues that you guys have. You guys also can hover over this question mark here and start a live chat right within the system. You guys all also have really easy access to our market sharp help portal which is right here also in the question mark Let's go ahead and click on that it's going to pull open a new page with all our resources this is a really good page for new hires and new employees to get started on their training thank you so much for your time guys and i hope you guys have a really good rest of your day